Hello, my name is Joel and I'm going to demonstrate how to mount a 23 frame servo motor onto the ERD15 with a reverse parallel RP mount. This is a one to one ratio. The first thing we want to do is mount the pulley onto the motor side. And you can see this one, we left a small space between the pulley and the motor. Doesn't have to be very much, but then we'll want to use a, a Allen wrench to torque this this uh, screw down and get the pulley nice and snug on there. There are settings for those uh, for the torque value and you can obtain those off of our documentation. Um, and it's different for each size actuator, each size motor, so it's good to look that up before you install it. Uh, what we'll need to do next is actually install the, the motor onto the back of the, the actuator housing here and um, apply the belt. The belt will just go over the, the pulley on the bottom as well as on the top here and, and we'll just snug it up for now get it so that it's um, in position. We don't need to tension it yet. So once that's complete we can feed our screws in through the motor and into this housing. We'll lock those in. Once those are in position, we have uh, four nuts that will go on the inside of the housing and hold those screws into place. <clears throat> so I'll put those on one at a time here. We'll want to install these at a cross pattern so that the motor is square and flush with the motor mount. Um, with the RP the reverse parallel mount, you'll want to make sure that the motor obviously stays seated inside of that pilot. You can see it's nice and flat there. So I got one started. We'll get this next one. I'm just going snug. I'm not tightening them all the way so we can come back and do that. What we need to do is um, tension the belt um, to a certain pound force and we need to do that before we uh, tighten these screws all the way, so I'll get these all four started. That's the last one. Now that the torque on these screws isn't nearly as important as it is for the, uh, the pulley itself. The pulley needs to be set to that certain torque spec uh, because that's where all the work is happening right at the end of the motor. So what I'm going to do is um, make sure that these are somewhat loose. They don't need to be um, all the way loose but they need to be loose enough that you can tension the belt properly. So I get those loosened up a little bit more, looks like I got them a little too tight. You can see as I pull on this, it's going to tension that belt. And we want to load this up to about uh, 10 pounds of force, about 10 to 15 on this size. So I'm going to tight tension that up and what people have done in the past is they've used a, a scale, like a fish scale of sorts, to pull on this uh, upper pulley, the motor pulley, and actually set that tension. In our manufacturing facility, we actually use a, a tool that uh, separates the two pulleys and, and sets it to a certain uh, tension there. So we'll get those, that belt tension, and then we'll snug up the, or tighten up the screws on the motor. You actually want to do this when you when you um, tighten these up. You want to make sure you're doing it doing it in the cross pattern. So you want to go across <coughs> to the other side of the motor when you tighten it up. I'm going to go to a certain spec here, torque, and go across to the other side, torque that one to spec, and do that on the other two.
It's good to have all four of those uh, to the same torque so that the motor is seated flat against the housing. Now the belt should, should be set to that tension that we set it to. And now we can put on our, our housing. Housing is simply a, a cover, it kind of supports that RP plate as well, the reverse parallel plate, but we'll just put these screws in to the back and tighten those down. And we'll be all set for operation. Once you get those tight, good to go. Motor is mounted, plates on the back, actuator is all set for operation. Thank you.